All right, welcome to another episode of Do Try This at Home. I'm WC10K, and in this installment, I'm going to teach you how to convert a USB style gamepad into a mouse. So you can use your game controller uh, to surf the web. And first, you're going to need a program called Joy to Mouse. And I've been using this program for probably like two years now and uh, it's very good. You might find it as joystick to mouse, but I'm gonna be putting this direct link right in the description. So the website should look like this and um, this is a free program and it was designed to help people with disabilities give them another venue for controlling a computer. But as many of you know, I've been battling crippling laziness most of my life. So, uh, yeah, this is what the download page looks like. You just go ahead and click download. And uh, my version is probably a little bit older, but it should resemble this. I haven't really checked it out. And um, when you first fire it up, uh, it's going to be running dreadfully. It's not going to run dreadfully slow, but uh, your mouse. Right now I'm using my controller to do that. And um, I'm using a PlayStation style Logitech USB controller. And it, uh, yeah, this, uh, these few settings right here, it's going to be a good, uh, a good starting point to get you going. But you're probably going to want to fine tune it to your own personal likings. But yeah, uh, I have it set up. I have it set up to launch on startup. So every time I turn on my computer, you know, I could turn my computer on, go lay on the couch, and you know, once it all starts up, then just you know, click on my web browser and start surfing YouTube. It it's especially good for uh, you know for playlists like Let's Plays. You know, so you don't have to constantly get up and click on full screen. You can just you know, sit on your couch or your favorite comfy chair and do it from there. You know, just let your mouse hover right over the full screen thing, the new video will load up and you just click it once and boom, don't have to do much. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, these are some pretty good parameters to start with. You're going to want to fine tune it. Another thing you're going to want to look out for, always remember to disable, uh, to disable your joystick to mouse uh, whatever port you can have up to 16 loaded up on this but uh, make sure to turn it off when you're gonna be going back into your gaming because you know you'll be running around trying to jump and stuff and your mouse will just be flying all around clicking shit so look out for that otherwise it's a great program uh, you can configure the buttons however you want them it is somewhat limited but uh, basically when it, you know, as soon as you download it, it works perfectly with uh, basic web browsing and stuff because, uh, as I said, I'm using a PlayStation style controller, so I'll describe it in that way. Um, your square button will be single click, single left click, triangle will be double left click, X will be single right click, and circle will be double right click. And other than that, you know, you move around with either your analog or uh, directional buttons. And other than that, L2 will escape. So, you know, if you're in a full screen video and you want to, you know, get out of it real quick, you just hit uh, L2 and then move your mouse around and uh, yeah, and then boom. So it works great, you know, if uh, you're on a playlist and you want to just full screen every next video without having to get up. Uh, if you're on like another channel where they don't have a specific playlist, then it's real nice just to you know click on a button, you know watch the video go back, you know click on the next video, you know go back, click on the next video, and yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. I've mentioned it on, in uh, my channel comments before, but uh, that was a long time ago, and I'm sure not many of you have seen it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps some of you out. And yeah, enjoy. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned. See ya.